Ladies and gentlemen, this is KOK World Grand Prix Final Fight. Please make some noise. Blue Corner from Romania, Danu! Vasil Duka! Here rules, three rounds, three minutes each. So the final three, three minute rounds. Shake hands, this is the final fight. KOK rules, I want to say a clean fight. And obey my commands all the time. Good luck to you, good luck. Referee gives them the judge, final instructions. Judge. judge. First round. So both fighters <laughs> had a little lean across the ring, look at each other, give each other a nod and a wink. Much to say, yep, let's Fight. get it on. Here we round go, one. a touch of gloves, the final World Grand Prix. Four man, 2017 here, 30th of September. And off we go. Two big men in the ring here, going toe to toe. Both done three rounds equal. As I mentioned, Danut Haduk taking out Pavel Veronin, win on points. Vassil Duka taking out Lucien Danaluka on points. When I say taking out, that's what I mean is one. Don't mean knocking them out. As both of these two did exactly the same, one on points. For me, it was the right decision. I think it was very close with Lucien, uh, more closer with Lucien and Vassil than it was with Pavel and, and, and Danut, to be honest. Um, Danilenko up until sort of two and a half minutes through the round three it was it was literally well it should have gone well up to that point he would have gone an extra round but sort of the last 30 seconds maybe even less 20 seconds things change with a knee so that two knees to the head well fast punch combinations coming in there from Vassil Vassil remember red corner red gloves Danult blue corner blue gloves both these two wanting to win the four-man tournament. Big low kick comes in. Dan up with serious intention, the looks on his face. Chin down. Guard up, takes a punch, takes two body punches as well. Both guys on a mission here. Out to impress. And certainly out to deliver as much pain as possible. So quiet bestows the stadium here. 8,000 people seated in this arena. And you can almost hear a pin drop, as the saying goes. Big low kick, left up, rolls under that. Comes back with four, five, six, seven punches. Some of them connecting, some missing. Either, either way, nice punch combo. Coming from Vasil Duka. Throws the catches with the jab, takes the low kick. Another low kick piles in now from Dano Hado. So any damage they would have received in the first fight, they carry through to this from the semi to the final. Looking at both of them, there's not too much damage on them. So I mean, even though they had pretty tough fights, you know, shows a good testament to the conditioning because that's an absolute, very much big requirement because it's not how much you can give. Anyone can throw a kick, a punch or a knee. Anyone can hit a bag, pads, anyone. Yeah, we get a 90-year-old doing that. It's, a, it's about how much can you take as well because when it comes down to it, it's a two-way traffic. You're not driving down a one-way street and having it all your own way. You've got somebody coming facing you the, op the opposite way. And like I said, as the saying is, it's a two-way street. You hit them, they hit you. Somebody once said to me, I remember many, many years ago in my younger, younger days when I was very naive, and somebody said something to me. I had to go away and think about it for quite a bit because, you know, young and, and young and stupid, as they say. Um, while we're watching this slow motion. Uh, your opponent's opponent is you. And I didn't get that. I thought somebody was being silly. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. 
Because there'll be a couple of people looking at the television and listening to Sandy Holt from Sonny Bolton and saying, what the hell is he going on about? Your opponent's opponent is you. Which basically, put that down into this when you get these people go on, I'm going to knock you out, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to beat you up, I'm going to break you, I'm going to do this to you, I'm going to do that to you. Seconds out. You've got to remember, is your opponents thinking the same Second about round. you? So, you can kick them, Fight. they can kick you. Second round. You can punch them, they can punch you. You can knee them, they can knee you. <laughs> you can knock them out, they can knock you out. I think you've got the idea. Anyway, enough of my waffle, let's go on with the action round two. And the big man meet each other again in the middle. Solid shots again coming in. So pretty close first round for me on my score sheet. The three judges are official, I'm unofficial of course. Just seeing it through, obviously in my past I've fought trained obviously you have to train to fight um, so started up as a student went in to become a fighter then came a trainer promoter I've also judged refereed emceed and obviously I do this I compensate so because I love the sport I love the art of fighting the art of self-defense it's not just about fighting guys as for every one of these fighters you see in the ring competing There'll be a thousand people not competing but training so don't think that you have to go in the ring and fight guys these are this is right at the top of the tree this is the pinnacle you know you could have a gym with a hundred students and you might not, you might be lucky if you get 10 percent might be lucky so out of 100 people you might get 10 fighters some gyms might have 20 some gyms might have none um because it's tough it's more than tough you've got to remember you know go back go back a thousand years and these guys you know would be in a, a gladiator arena with a sword fighting against a lion or a tiger or fighting against each other with barbed spears three pointed prongs and they would have been fighting to the death come forward a thousand years and this is what it where we are doing it with gloves doing it with shins feet knees and elbows if it's Muay Thai and then obviously fighting on the ground if it's MMA or boxing with the art of two so last minute now of round two again it's been a pretty close round both guys all action affair tit for tat hit for hit look at this makes a great final and again busy 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 great action there Vassil Duka pushing Danu Hurdo into his own corner, but then Danu Huda pushing back. <laughs> Vassil almost to it back to his corner, showing that he can fight off the back foot and come forward just the same. So 20 seconds left, round two. And again, it's going to be a tough one for the judges. This 10 seconds left, round two. Both fighters again trying to push, impress the judges. Two good low kicks there just before the bell. Well, for me, another even round. Fighters. Seconds out. Third round. Fight. Final round. 
So we've made it to the final round of the final World Grand Prix four-man tournament here in Kishna, Moldova. And they go at it again, just the same as the round one and round two. Mirror image of previous. Oh, it's made a great final because these two, like I said, deserved to get their place in the final person. I think it was the right decision. Definitely Dan up got the nod over Pavel. Pavel, very brave warrior, heart of a lion. We got caught a couple of times and just looked under pressure. It was a 10-8 round as well, so it was a knockdown scored, which gave one of the rounds clearly a 10-8. And then Lucian Danilenko was, for me, all even Steven up until literally the last 30 seconds where Vasil Dukar, to me, just took the lead a little bit, opened up a cut with a, a, a knee to the head and a two-knee combination. Well, the crowd have come alive for these two. Like I said, they met for the final and it's making a great final two. Two tough men. Oh, jumping knee, beautiful. Coming in from Vassal. But again, Danu Haduk goes at it. Could be one of those, could go end up going an extra round. And how tough would it be for these two, having have done six rounds and might having to do a seventh. Bangs in the low kick. Busy with the hands. Nods. They go at it again. Approaching the final minute of round three. Absolute testament to the stamina of these two. Athletes, gladiators, tough men, fighters to the core. Countdown for the final minute. And it covers up. Feeling the pace and understandably. Well, a late rally coming in from Vassil Dukar. Was he going to get the nod off the judges for it? Or will it be one of those where they can't decide? Again, they're right in the middle of the ring, standing in the O of KOK. And it's O who's winning. <laughs> 20 seconds countdown now. There's a close call between these two. 10 seconds left now. And they go at it. Last few seconds. Right. Referee pushes them apart. Oh, Boom, the bell goes, and one after the bell. And he looked, <laughs> it looked like he was going to go back at him. Well, both fighters raise their hands. Oh, I would not like to be a judge tonight. No, thank you. No, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. I'm glad to be a commentator. Well, I can't call it. I'm just conferring with the Romanian commentator, Valentin Anachenko and uh, Matus. Well, he thinks he's got it. Vasil Duka has not got his hands up. Well, Mr. Donatos is in the ring. And Dorin Damir. So here we go. Let's hear it. Judge decision. Judge one. Judge one. Danuk Hurduk. Danuk Hurduk. Judge, Judge two. one. Judge two. Basil Dukar. Basil Dukar. It's one Judge each. Three. Here's the Draw. decider. Extra round. Yes! Aha! Yes, yes, yes. I told these, I told the commentators. I said. I, I said, I put my hands together, I said a draw, and I was right. I thought so. Now this, what did I say earlier? Stop, they get it right. <laughs> but I did. 
Well, one girl, ring girl's got a, a, a five up, the other one's got a four up, so uh, there's something... <laughs> it's round four here. Um, one, one, one ring girl got it right. Um, so I think that's good judging. One judge gave it red, one gave it blue, one gave it evens. Now they're going to give them an extra minute. So Five minutes. Well, look at that. They smile at each other. It's down to stamina. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? That is definitely extra worth an extra round. round. Here we go. Let's do this. So stamina will play the part now. I give it evens all the way through that fight. I just could not separate them. Only stamina will decide now. It's like two cars going along a, a road, both with a full fuel tank, and going and going and going until one stops. Whichever car continues to go is the one who's going to win the race. And for me, it's the gas in the tank, stamina, that will decide this fourth round. Unless, of course, there is a knockout, which then completely changes the game. It's like one of the car's engines blowing. So, will an engine blow? Or will fuel take them to the finish line? Again, like the previous three rounds, starts exactly the same. Both fighters meeting in the middle and matching every single strike. Well, the crowd, I think, have got a favourite. I can't speak Moldovan other than to say hello and thank you. They've obviously got a favourite, some of them. Not all of them, of course, because there's 8,000 people here. They're not all screaming at the same time, otherwise I wouldn't be able to hear myself speak. So this final, and a great final, Czech Republic versus Romania. Either way, these two both deserve to be the World Grand Prix champion for what they've put into it, because they've both done six rounds each, and now they're going to be doing what they are doing, and they're in the seventh round. Approaching the last minute now of the fourth. Please tell me it's not going to go to a draw again and then there'll be a fifth. <laughs> well, the minute countdown is here. Oh, big right. So some crowd are for Vasil, some crowd are for Danu. Understandably, they've won the hearts of these fabulous Moldovan fight fans. And they're all very educated. Like I said, it's the second favourite sport in all of this side of the world. And Moldova first only been to basketball. Ooh. Big shots from both fighters. They go at it. 15 seconds remain. You know what? Someone's going to go home disappointed tonight. And really, it's a shame because... Yeah, I cannot separate them. <laughs> Jumping knee right on the bell. Both hands, guys, raise their hands again. OMB, that's all my body with an OMG. That's all my God, whatever your... <laughs> whatever your <laughs> flavour is. Well, that was incredible. Once again, the promoters get in the ring. Dorin. And Donatus guys who put these amazing shows together. Well, it all comes down to this. Please tell me there's not an extra round. Yeah, guys, I can't decide who's going to get the win. Who is going to get the win? I haven't got a clue. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is what finals are made of. Incredible stuff here. Ladies and gentlemen, POT World Grand Prix here we Final have it. 5. Let's see what happens. After the extra round, 
by unanimous decision. Three judges are calling it. The winner it. of TOK World Grand Prix. The winner is. Is is is. is Red corner, Vasil Duka. Oh, Vasil Duka takes it. That looks disappointed as hell. Well, this is how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's how they roll. There has to be a winner, unfortunately, for one man. To the other man who had worked so hard. Seven rounds these two guys have done. So absolute credit to these two. I'm on my feet. Wow, and he gets the winner's trophy, he gets the nod. <laughs>